right, here we go. This Ant Files again, back with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, Moji, 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 do he, what he do, what he say and shit, you know. Um, we got a bit of little, this little comedy here for you, you know what I'm saying? It's just something to wet your ear whistles down real fast and get them a little light so they give you that little high pitch and get you there, you know what I'm saying? Put your earlobes back into place, you know what I'm saying? Got your mouth ready for a good listen for it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, you sit at the edge of your seat and your mouth kind of hang up a little bit. You be waiting, you expecting that next word to come and shit. And they be like, well, what? Don't be that letdown, you know what I'm saying? And then they come into you and you be like, oh my God, what happened? <laughs> because I was just ready for this next word to come and it was just going to come to my ear. And I was going to receive what your next word was. I was hanging on your next word. That part. You know what I'm saying? That little phrase. Yeah. Anyway, you know, that comedy for your ears or whatever. We going to get you going. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be too bad of a whole. <laughs> Lorax themes. What? Yeah, that little thing that on the little dust bag, and they thought it was some kind of little Dr. Seuss, little Newberry, Seussville, and everything like that. You know, it, it, got, it, got, it got you there. It got you there. And the Whoville and shit. Mm -hmm. I know the real and I know the uh, little space. Show sure no. You'd be like, oh, God. Here we go. That's like if you ever met a Tevin. Let me tell you about Tevin. Tevin gonna tell you how it, IT is, right? That's how you feel that you know who Tevin is, right? Okay. But then he also got these comedy moments that just be, just pop up out of nowhere in his life. And you see it, but he don't think he know that you see it, but you saw it. And you try to tell him, but he already know that you seen it. And he trying to tell you, right? So you be like, okay, okay, look here. Look here, Tevin, I ain't gonna say it no more. <laughs> You gonna have to understand this right here so that I, I can get this to you so you can receive it well, okay? This is positivity. This is for the interest of your life, okay? This is not negative. This is not for a subtractionary note no, of not, none of that. I don't know what you thought. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, you can't really go off on Tevin. That's Tevin right there, though. You see, you know, uh, uh, that's when you're dealing with Tevin. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Did you hear? Did you hear what? Did you hear what it was? It was. That's when dealing with under, understanding notes of notions of positivity with Tevin. Okay, there you go. Uh, just there, 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 you, you, we get it. You get you, you, you got it. You got it. I told you we gonna have these little comedy notes up in this motherfucker. <laughs> this is the time when you put the kid in some bag. Sometimes um um. um. I don't know what he said, but I don't like what I heard, and this is not the theme for this, and this needs to, you, you, you know, go to bed. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you have stopped the nation for what? <laughs> Yourself. You thought you stopped the internet, but then at the end of the night, you stopped whatever you was doing for that day, <laughs> just to do what you thought you saw. But ain't nobody here for negativity, so we gon' go back to this positive thing. You did it for a reason. You knew it was gonna be the index for your life. You knew it was gonna be an index for something for you to write and stay in your statement for what you thought life could be for you at that moment. And you did the shit out of that. So that's what it was, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, Steve, you better tell him. Yeah, that's Steve. Steve is very virtuous, a guy. He gon' he gon' save the lives for those of the likes of humanity forever and all eternity. Okay, you gotta choose one. You can't say forever and then all of eternity because they're both all of, all of eternity. It's endless. They, <laughs> but he wanted to do it for that. You know. That's Steve. <laughs> we ain't gonna sit here and talk about Steve no more because you know what I'm saying? The last time that nigga owed me $45 and he act like he didn't want to give it back, but you do it all for humanity and all of eternity and, and to the ends of the earth and beyond. 
Okay, Buzz Lightyear, you do what you're going to do, all right? And you fly there. And when you get there to infinity, to let me know and give me the directions so I can meet you there. So you can give me my $45. <laughs> 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 all the cost of reputations of what has been owed in reparations from one entity to another, <laughs> i.e. Steve and whoever knows he thought he was at that time. Uh-oh. There go the traffic, go. There go the traffic, go. <laughs> and I'm like, so what you talking about, though? And John was like, but you heard what I said, though. And I was like, no, not really. Yeah, me and John, we was talking a little bit. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? Not, not like that. Y'all, y'all, y'all crazy. Y'all think you're nasty. Stop with your life. That's not good with yourself. Go on back to the regular thinking. And we check back in. Did we check one, two, three, four? Oh, we check back in. Oh, okay. All right, we, we back into it. We back live. No, I'm <laughs> but we got these comedy views, you know, these views upon life that are systemic in their beauty. And it's like, oh, wow, that's, that's too... That's too good for that. Yeah. It was there. I didn't do it, but it was there. That's one of them unexplained details that just pop up. And you'd be like, yep, but, but how did I know? I didn't know, but it was there. <laughs> so, you know. But hey, you know, get on and get on and get on and get on, get on and get on and get on and get on, get them to the next, get get them to the next, get them to the next, get get them to the next. That's the one for you right there. So I go to the grocery store. I go to go get some cucumbers, tomatoes, and you know jalapenos i guess i was gonna do something make some kind of salsa dip or something you know what i'm saying some kind of pico de ayo or some warm yeah i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it in the cocina i'm making my cocina <laughs> you know what i'm talking about but if you didn't it was cool it was just a joke you didn't have to get on me like that i didn't do nothing i don't speak fluently nothing no Espanol no fluently for me no mm -mm. but you know what I can't get bits and pieces you know what I'm saying I do what I do I do what I do I just, let me just say that whatever it is is whatever it is <laughs> it's just enough for me so I can get it there to you how about that how are we gonna say that like that yeah we don't, is that gonna work okay that's when you gotta <laughs> get to a statement yet again another state here we go with them statements get to a statement and let it linger so that it's gotten to be received you know what I'm saying? it's all about re re reciprocation and reciprocation and shit of it you know yeah it gives you, just say, how well did you receive what was told to you? Because that's a make or break situation right there. That's something that's going to take you to a point. You'd be like, okay, I didn't know what you was talking about at all. But now that I know what you were going and where we're going with this, it's great. Great. I could have been on a whole nother thing. I didn't have to beat you up, take your money, stab you up, shoot you, you know, all that shit. You know, it didn't happen to go that route. <laughs> You'd be like, damn, all that because you received something well that, that was said from, that's how powerful words are. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>
That's all I'm saying. People. Get it right. Only because, you know what I'm saying, Tina took Bethany's man and Bethany said it wasn't going to happen, not yet again. And Tina didn't know nothing about that. She just thought that, you know what I'm saying, it was just a situation and it could be cleared up with just words. But nah, Bethany was on something else and it just couldn't be bought. And the shit went left and then bam. And I mean, bam. It happened. She hit her in the leg. But she didn't know Tina had her own. And then, whoo, Bethany got clipped on the ass. Sure, I bet you she won't twerk another day looking like that. That one cheek gonna do it and that left. Mm. I'm just, I hate you, look, I ain't on it, but I'm just going to tell you about it. But, um, yeah, another situation, you know what I'm saying, that nigga Kevin. That nigga Kevin went over there and he told Paul that he was going to have his bread by the time he said about 4, t- 4 p.m. to supper time. And then 4 p.m. rolled around and 6 got there. And he was like, oh, Big Six, I ain't, you, you, but you ain't hear that shit. Ain't good, but it didn't come, no, but to me. Oh, shit, Domino. Bam. <laughs> and fucked his shit up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Locked his shit all the way up. That nigga couldn't eat right for four days or more. I don't know what happened. After the fact, he went to the hospital, got his shit fixed up, and said that he came back a new man. I just, I didn't know. That's what you, that's what the story was like. But you know, see, 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 shit like that. You just never know. I want this to end where you know, you know, or something agreed upon, or something like in the situation of you know. Andrea and Kim came to the point of this was just a beautiful moment and we had to understand this for the betterment of our lives. Oh, only because after the fact, before then or on beforehand of the note, of where they was in their life. Andrea told Stephanie that Kim was a swinger. That's all it was. They had to get through that and they just got through it. You know, it just, it happens. Life. Life is full of uh I can't quite put my finger on the word I want to use for what it is because it's almost unexplicable. But you can explain it up until a certain point where your life means something more than what you thought it did. So it's like a step up. You know, you get your one up out the day doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Think positively. and You might get somewhere like there right here for a few moments and shit so that you can go on about positive viewpoints about shit in your life. You know, excuse me, filled me up. I had a big old burp ready for y'all. I was playing. No, that's so crude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, that's nasty. Go get it right for your life. Go get your life. Because you ain't got it yet. So it's how you going to get something right for something that you ain't got yet. No. <laughs> you be like, what that? How you know my meaning didn't have meaning? But no, 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 no. Then y'all arguing about that shit. But you ain't even got life right yet. So how do you have meaning? No, but how do you know that my meaning of existence at that moment in time before you so thought that I had no meaning had no meaning? (laughs) Rick and Gina, y'all. Go ahead. 
So yeah, you know, these little comedy moments is pretty good, pretty good. I guess, you know, something to get you right for life. And, you know, move on accordingly. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do is just move on accordingly. Move on accordingly through life and you can get yourself through anything that's possible in your precautionary terms, such as an arduous task, an uphill battle, uh, uh, a mountainous task it doesn't matter it's something that you can get through if you can get through this enough point of your life you can succeed more and get yourself more life ahead of you in front of you around you and something that you can grab in a bounty because that's how it was written to be said to me that's how I received it. I don't know about anybody else, and that's as far as I can go with it because I am not near and ready to be that prophet that people have spoken of. But yeah, things are okay so that we can gain success. And I believe that we can keep going further and further and further in life. I'm a positive dude, and I'm going to give you that positive attitude, all right? There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That positive attitude. <laughs> You're like, don't let it get too damn positive where it's hot. You be like, oh, damn, now this nigga mad. What happened? What happened to you? Did, did somebody do it? What happened? What they do? Nah, it's just, you know, you know, it's just... You know, I just, I just, I just, I just I fuck with a lot of people and I do things that everybody loves. And you know what I'm saying? And I work with people in a good thing. And then like, you know what I'm saying? Then some shit like this happened to fuck me up or whatever. And then it just turned my files upside down. And now I'm all sold up and stuck and, and, and without no luck and SLL and bullshit and all this other shit. I just, I just, I just, I just don't like it. <laughs> so then you got to be like, well, you know what? Within that SOL and that bullshit and that shit, that's out of luck and you don't know and you just stuck and you just woe with me and everything is up, put, there go my buck. It's all good because God got you and he going to keep you whether you go through it or not. And the most times when you go through it, something big is going to happen in your life and it's beneficial for you and you're supposed to keep that good intent so never let your wallows wait and you keep going and wait in that water because god's gonna trumble them and all your demons is gonna go away boom be out there it is <laughs> it's for me and it's for you so what are you gonna do that's how i look at it try it one day it's gonna work it's going to work because it got me through some shit. It got me through a hell of a lot. That's here, no, no, there. But past the fact of the matter, you can achieve what you are possible of and what you are capable of in your duties at life. So... For whatever reason that you feel that you can't do you, there you have it. You do more, and you can do more. Prepare yourself. You ain't got to stop, because if you stop, you're stopped at life. There's no will. There's no meaning. How can you feel without any will? If you live, breathe, and coexist, my mantra at life, you can go about your life with existence of meaning. I place it in that refrain because it means you have meaning with your existence, and your existence is therefore your meaning as well. You live. If you live, breathe, and coexist, you can do more than you thought you couldn't. It's not no code, no shit like that, no. It's just a mantra, something that you look at at life and say, I can use this to achieve different possibilities in my life that are beneficial for me to create a social norm 
are a systemic norm that's breed for me, bred for me, so that I can use that and adapt within my life, my capabilities, my exploitations, my transgressions, my this, my that, and my other. You know. You know. So. <laughs> but I gained that through a good letter wisdom bestowed upon me not such that I had already I had to learn so learning creates a lot of wisdom and wisdom creates a lot of existence so that's how I look at it as well that may be my next one learn live and be wise that's my next one but right now I'm still on live breathe and coexist So, we're good, we're good, right? All right, people, let's call it a night. We about, we about here, huh? We up to here, y'all. I feel y'all got something with some laughter and some, and some, and some, like it was some dishes from a good gumbo meal or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? You had the gumbo, the rice. You had the jambalaya on the side. You had... <laughs> <laughs> some, 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 some. What else? What, what we got? We got some crawfish in the back. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's already pre made. We got it there. You know what I'm saying? Some boudin sausage. On the, it's all in there, but we can have some extras. <laughs> if we was there, we blow your stomach up. You all that damn food. <laughs> uh. But you was there though. It made you happy. Makes me happy to feel good. When I'm meeting and greeting with good people that jeer my genial side. That's really all it is. For real. I'm going to let you know that for free. You want to be around people that make you feel like you're on lighter than air status. Like you're better than gravity right now like everything that can't weigh you down does it like you know what i'm saying everything wants you to be at that point you know you want to be around positive people like that that's good for you you know so even the calming exploits of general life that you feel that are just outlandish and wouldn't occur at any moment and does like what I foresee just happened to me. <laughs> but you know life is good. And you make it as such. If you feel not worried. That's what I look at it as. If you feel not worried. If you don't have no worries in your world. In your life. That's what will counteract that negativity and counteract the negativity is just the bee's knees when you do it where it's at where it's good for your pleasing easy topics of life <laughs> i just you know put that in a little <laughs> on there for a little minute for but just you know like you know sometimes you receive it how you gonna receive it that's all i'm saying buddy look at it look at it but we good we good well we gonna call it a night y'all all right little polo like how we said polo tank tank <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. The, these are the people that got me there Robin Harris and you know, and Jamie Foxx and, and you know, Eddie Murphy's and, 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 and you know, <laughs> shit, I know I wasn't supposed to be watching, but I was watching it any damn way. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, when you had that stutter that just lasts forever, it's like the stutter gone wild. 
And we, 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 and we, we got, we had to, to go to it. I'm just saying, it happens to me. So I'm going to laugh about it because I know I can get through it. It's just another barrier that's going to try to get me to the things ain't flat. That's how I feel. But, uh, all right, y'all. We go get going because that's my time. I ain't got no more time to be out other than this motherfucker. So I just, <laughs> you have a good night, people.